Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Now the video you're seeing right now is not the video you were meant to get today. Uh, the video you were meant to get today was supposed to be, well supposedly, or supposed to be, supposed to be, there you go, was meant to be the final of my Biggest Regret series. So obviously the last three videos have been uh, the re my regrets with regards to fish, coral and inverts. Well, I did, wanted to do a more general one, which was the, basically the my regrets which caused me the biggest issues. Um, and because I started to realize that it's such a vital video that could help so many people, uh, when I finished it, I wasn't happy with it. And rather than put something out that I'm not happy with and rush it, I thought I'd just give you a different video, which is an update of the Mega Build. Um, there are uh, quite a few changes. For example, this tank is now um, set up. That wasn't set up before. Um, but because, as I said, because I think it could help so many people, I didn't want to just half-ass it, basically. So that one you will probably get next week. And uh, instead, I thought I'd show you an update with, obviously, in here. Uh, I've just realized that this is obviously still here. I get more comments about this than everything, which is why I'm now leaving it there. It's almost like it's, it's gone down in like prestige reef history, sort of, not really. But, um, but yeah, so in here, uh, you may have noticed already, eagle-eyed viewers, uh, there are about 40 new fish. Uh, I will get to why I've got 40 new fish, but I'll show you um, something else first. But... Um, it wasn't my choice, so let's put it that way. I didn't want 40 new fish, it was just, I might as well just tell you now. Uh, basically, one of my customers who has a, uh, or he had, I think it was about a 3,000 litre tank. It was huge, like very impressive with regards to the size of it. Um, big colonies of coral and, and big, big fish. You'll see some of them in a minute. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the silicon, I'm, I'm not sure if it was, the, it wasn't the silicon failed. I think um, that, it, it was definitely the glass which failed because it cracked, but it didn't crack in like one place. It cracked and went psh, um, up the whole tank. So that obviously was an emergency situation because it was in his kitchen. And uh, he called me up and he said, look, I need help. Come get the fish, come get the coral. Um, it's about two hours away. Uh, but so he put everything into sort of like a, he had a, a big sump. Um, but there was a lot of fish and a lot of coral to go in a, in a sump and uh, you put it all in there. I went to collect it and, um, and they are for the foreseeable future in here. Unfortunately, uh, not everything survived. Not all, not all the fish or the, all the coral survived, um, but I did my best and uh, it's not ideal because you shouldn't have this many fish uh, in a coral farm, basically. But um, you've got to do these things sometimes and there hasn't really been any sort of negative effect on the coral. Um, of my own personal coral, uh, if I'm if I'm honest. And if anything, uh, I think some of them are enjoying the nutrients a bit more because, as I said, some of these fish are massive. So um, let me get, let me. I'll start. I'll start with showing you some of some of the the signature fish. Then, um, and we'll go from there. Right now, by far the most impressive fish from that breakdown is this foot long Soho tank. Now it doesn't look like it's a foot long here, uh, but wait till it gets a bit closer and you see it with some of my other fish. Um, now, I'll be honest with you, it probably wasn't a great idea uh, to put it in this, this tank of the system, but by the time I'd got back after a two hour drive and obviously running backwards and forwards to get all the fish and coral in the car as quickly as possible, uh, I had uh, what could only be described as dis decision fatigue. And when I got back, I wanted to get it into a tank as quickly as possible so that it didn't run out of oxygen in, in the bucket because um, obviously it's consuming a lot of oxygen because of how, obviously how huge it is. And uh, I quickly scooped out the bucket and I put it straight into this system, uh, which has loads of other little acanthrous tanks. Uh, there is a convict and as you can see, there is a vampire tank there. Now that, and there's also a half black, black mimic there, but that uh, obviously wouldn't normally have been a very good idea. However, if I'm honest, I'm glad that I did it because it has been incredibly peaceful and doesn't appear to have bothered anything at all ever. So that's obviously the most impressive fish that came from the tank breakdown. Uh, as you see, there's a clam there, which also came from it. The clam's not overly happy. It's, it's alive, but it doesn't seem to be doing 
an awful lot. For example, if I put my hand over it to cover the light, it doesn't close. But if I touch it, it does close. And normally, by waving your hands over it, they usually close up almost immediately. Now, the Soho Tang was the only uh, fish that went to Tank 2 of System 1. Uh, tank 1 of System 1 has a few, a few more fish, in, like new fish in it. So you can see there's a Regal Tang. Uh, there is a normal clownfish, which when I saw it, I was like, I haven't seen a normal clownfish like that in ages. And there's, there's obviously a black one as well. Um, and there is also somewhere in here, uh, there is a Gem Tang as well. Now, some of these, um, there's a couple of sort of white SPS in here, uh, or like bleached SPS, like here, and there's also uh, a couple here and here. Uh, these only came in this week. Uh, they were from an Indonesian si shipment. Um, and unfortunately, this is not uncommon. Uh, when the corals first come in, they sort of go, go white, and uh, then they either return to the car they're meant to be, or they go brown. <laughs> so, um, but it's just... Uh, just takes time. Obviously there's a gem tank, but as you can see, it's a little bit more shy. Uh, moving on to this tank. Now, this is a tank that you won't have seen before because I've never had to use it, but obviously with the additional fish and coral, uh, for the first time, every single tank uh, is full. Um, so I've turned this on. Uh, as you can see, these candy canes came from that tank. Uh, they are super, super bright, uh, and they've got really big heads as well. Um, I fragged those probably about a week and a half ago, I think, so they're ready to go. Um, although candy canes don't seem to be as popular as they used to be anymore for some reason. I don't, I don't sell a huge amount of them. Um, these caterpillars were actually in the tank with the zoas before, but I thought I'd give them some room to, to spread out. So you can see, well, this is a, I really like this one because it's huge with, um, with blue polyps. And uh, this gold, gold one actually is, is nice as well. Um, actually, this gold one came from, from that, that big tank. Uh, and then obviously I've got a few, a few different gonies. Now, sometimes you'll see corals in these videos, which aren't on uh, the website, uh, especially if they're big pieces. If ever you see corals which you have, which are on the website and you want to buy them, um, sometimes there's a reason, but and sometimes there's not. Well, if if there's no reason, then I'm obviously more than happy to sell them to you. Um, so just obviously, if you see something you like, get in touch, and we um, and we can go from there. Something else to show you is that the lids for all the systems are almost done. So all the big tanks have been done, but uh, I still haven't got the, the grow out tanks done yet. Uh, but I've done these ones and then the ones over here as well. Now, as I said before, these are specifically to save, to keep the rats in basically, because I got tired of sacrificing them to the floor. And although I probably have spent well, I spent quite a considerable amount of money to keep the RAS alive uh, in comparison to the cost of the actual RAS. I just, there's just something not right about just keep, throw, keep putting RAS in. Now, one of the other signature fish to show you is this Nasso Tang. Now, this again is probably about a foot long. I've tried to get it out at the moment because I've put some Nori in there for it. I thought I'd try and see if I could entice the Soho out for you, but it doesn't appear, not the Soho, the, uh, the Nasso Tang out for you. Uh, with nori but it doesn't appear to be that interested but um some of these fish are so friendly now because obviously i have my tank and my hands in the tank all the time with the corals i know you're not you're meant to keep your hands out the tank as much as possible but i have my hands in the tank all the time so they're actually pretty used to me now so there you go let's maybe that's maybe if i take my hands out it will come out just to give it a minute it doesn't look like it's coming out today, I'm afraid. It's like all the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park when, uh, do, during the first tour where you don't see any of them. That one's not the, uh, the friendliest fish. But uh, a couple of the corals, as you can see over there, see the, uh, that's the pink goni. Uh, there's actually another pink goni over the back. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so some of the corals haven't done brilliantly. I'm not sure what, what, uh, what reason why. Obviously, you can see there's, there's a few gonies in this tank, uh, and there's plenty of alveopora in this tank. But, um, yeah, for whatever reason, the stress is just, they've, they've stayed closed permanently, and um, a, a few of the gonies did die, unfortunately. Um, that They sort of stripped almost immediately. Right, now, this tank probably had the most new fish in it. Uh, this is the top tray of System 2. Uh, and it didn't have the most in terms of like sort of body size, but definitely in terms of quantity. Uh, so we had quite a few uh, chromis. Uh, there are also uh, some anthias, light anthias. There's, I think there's four of them in there. 
Uh, there's three females and a male. Uh, there is uh, two gold band maroon clownfish, which are problematic because although they're a couple, the male decides to live in the Duncan's coral for some reason, and the female likes to live in the torch corals for some reason. So, uh, which as you can see, what it does is it will close one torch coral over there, and then it will move to the next one, and then it will move to the next one, and gradually. I will need to move this because it is, um, it hasn't killed any of them, it's just, it can't be good for them, it's probably bothering them. And uh, what else is there to show you? Oh, so I quite like these, um, these blastos. This is the problem, I sort of fall in love with some of the corals, and then I don't get them on the website quickly, so I really like these blastos. Let's see if I can pick up without show you. With the red and green. Um, so this started with just a single polyp when I first got it, and as you can see, it, uh, it has grown a few additional polyps since then, uh, and that shows you how long it's been here for, uh, and it's the same as the other one. See, I'm always a hobbyist first, so when I get something in that I quite like, it's, um, it's hard for me to, uh, to, to sell it, if I'm honest. But I've got two of those red and green ones, so I should probably get that on the website. And then this is another one, which is quite, quite interesting. But unfortunately, blastos have always been historically expensive, and these ones are no, uh, they're no different. The, uh, the other thing which I obviously have fallen in love with is all the trackies still. So I said some of these are on the website, some of them are. I sort of released them gradually. Uh, and the final thing to show you in this tank are these chalice corals. I believe these are always known as jelly bean chalice. Uh, as you can see it's got the uh, the green and the orange around the edge and also the uh, the split eyes where they're sort of half orange and half green and half yellow. So that, that's a really nice piece. And um, the other piece that I got which is I've actually got three different colours. So that's another different one. And the final one is, is this. This is the one I actually really, really like. So, um, but I've got two pieces of that, so I can keep one piece of myself and let you guys have one of them. And I think that is sort of it for this tank, other than, it's not for everyone, but I also really like this. I believe it's a Lobo. Uh, I quite like the red and uh, there's, it's sort of like a, it's got like a dark grey with a red and sort of it's, it, to the eye it looks more yellow but from the camera it looks a bit more green. So I quite like that as well. There's certain corals which if I had my own tank, which hopefully coming soon, I, uh, I am looking to get uh, probably a water box tank, if I'm honest. Um, I did look at other, other tanks but, um, oh yeah, I also got this algae blenny, which seems to be doing, doing alright. It's just chilling, roaming around. But uh, yeah, the algae blades are notorious for not doing that well because they don't have enough algae to eat. But, um, so I'm keeping an eye on him, but he seems to be doing all right at the moment. And then um, in this tank, I, the only thing I can think of that was sort of interesting, uh, as you can see, the Zoa situation is only getting worse. Uh, <laughs> the, um, the only things that are sort of interesting in this tank are I've got a couple of really, really nice fungi ears which I might be able to show you under the lid. I'm not sure that's much better view if I'm honest. But, um, but yeah, that's kind of it really for the, uh, for the new things. That's it for today guys. Now we both know that, or all of us know that the main reason I did this uh, is for really for the, the diehard fans of the channel, uh, as well as also the people that um, maybe are having like a little sneak preview to see what corals they can, they can get and email me about before everyone else. Um, but hopefully this time next week you will get the video which you were meant to get, uh, which I personally believe is one which is worth watching because it might actually help save your tank. Now, especially one part of it, there is something which the majority of you will not be doing, but absolutely 100% of you should be doing it. So, so look out for that. Um, and, um, and yeah, I hope you, hope you enjoyed watching it. Just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that supports the channel on Patreon. Uh, there has been a significant increase in the number of people joining me on Patreon because 
uh, I now show uh, the I, sh I now show pictures of so the, the wholesaler sends me pictures I post them on Patreon people can select them from those pictures I then go to the wholesaler and collect them for them so people have a lot more corals than just in here if you see what I mean because sometimes you'll see a coral which you wanted which I would never have picked now unfortunately that supplier has been closed for the last two weeks because they went to Indonesia so I have only been able to do that once so far but it will start being a, a regular weekly thing uh, once they are back up and open fully if you see what I mean so um, so yeah as I said, just want to say a mass thank you and uh, have a good week and I'll see you next time <laughs>